Hello there, this is Caroline, herbalist, naturopath and nutrition consultant talking to you about what grows in nature, what grows in the fields, what grows in the hedgerows, what grows even in your back garden and teaching you how you can use what's around you to help to heal yourself. So here today we are in the field with this little beauty, I hope you can see it here, this beautiful purple little plant just poking its head out from in amongst the grass. This, if you can see here, I'll just grab one for you to see, is ground ivy. Okay. Now ground ivy is false ivy, right? Because this is not related in any way to the ivy family whatsoever in the slightest. In fact, if you look closely at the little flowers and they might remind you of orchids, this is related to the mint family. Okay, so she actually is part of the mint family. Also known as cat's foot. I think probably because the leaves are like soft, like a little cat's paws. And also known as Jill go by the ground, which is quite funny. And Lil, Lily run up the hedge. I love these old, these old, uh, old, old English and old folklore names. So she's amazing. She's got quite an interesting history, used by the Romans and Greeks for a long, long, long time. Dioscorides said that she was good for melancholy, okay? So that's depression. And it's quite funny, as I was filming this, I had a, a passerby just come past with a good Somerset accent. Where what would that be for? And I, I said, oh, it's good for melancholy, for depression. He goes, oh, blimey neck, I need some of that, and then started telling me a story. So really useful. He's walking his dog now. He knows how to get his medicine on his way home. So awesome. But yeah, she's really good also as an expectorant, so really good to get rid of um, coughs, colds. You can make a tea with this, excellent. So a really lovely, steeped in hot water, this would be really great. But just to make you feel good, like I said, to help you lift your spirits on a grey and gloomy day like we have today. Um, and also to help to uh, help yourself along with getting rid of that cough or cold. Ah, oh, she's really lovely. She has an association with witchcraft, okay? They used to believe, um, back in the days, that they, uh, where she grows, because it's, it's quite a, um, how do you say, uh, basically, it's, it's a kind of considered a bit of a pesky weed, because it will take over the ground. It's very prevalent, so, prevalent. so um, they would say that, you know, it, it kind of stops other, other blooms from growing, which it does, just like goose grass and other, other herbs do. You know, it really does take over a ground, but... Uh, that's it. And of course, you know, the colour with uh, like the goddess of uh, Hecates of witchcraft is this purple colour. So maybe in some ways that's why she's related. But uh, either way, she's a wonderful, underutilised herb. Um, they used to use it um, for Maldi Thursdays, which is the three days um, preceding Easter Sunday. And what they used to do is they would make a soup out of this and they'd also make it into a crown. Beautiful. So enjoy Ground Ivy. Welcome.